Hello everyone and welcome to uh, Heat Signature. This is one of my favorite uh, roguelike games, I guess you call it. Yeah, it is roguelike and I haven't done any videos on uh, this game. And I don't think I can uh, <laughs> edit the current stuff I have right now within a time frame that will allow for today's upload. <laughs> oh yeah, T is 12. I brought the concussion hammer. Oh hello, this game does get pretty hard, I should mention that. This is like an easy miss, and I'm pretty sure we're supposed to knock everyone out <laughs> and still the ship. Now I can knock out the the captain <laughs> and still his ship. <laughs> this is a rescue mission, but it's also a personal quest mission, so you get intel which makes your personal quest cheaper. Okay, here's where things can get a little tricky. I need to knock out that uh guy with the shield, but I also need to remove his shield before I can knock him out. I have a few way ways of doing that. Such as a bullet throw. <laughs> oh shit, this guy has a uh, shield on too. The other thing about this game is it's pausable, so, you know, that seems a little weird. <laughs> but being able to pause the game just means uh, you have cooldowns on your items. Okay, so I got everything I need, so I just have one goal now. And it's a pretty easy goal. And that's to get the fuck out of the station no matter what. <laughs> so you can, like, launch yourself in space, pick up you, the guy you want, and, uh, you know, yourself and then fly back. In fact, uh, there's other pods you can get. I only have the glitcher pod unlocked. Because it's a roguelike, so, you, you know, you unlock items and stuff like that. And this is how you do it with uh, liberations. But here's what I got liberated, and here's what I can liberate, which is uh, personal shields. I can start buying him custom hammers once I get that. Wait, super shotguns? I didn't know that existed. Okay, so can super shotguns like damage armor? Oh, that's fucking cool. I just got a new pod. Breach it that way so you can breach any way you want. I'm going by the glitcher pod real quick and see if there's a super shotgun I can get. Uh, I can't buy the super shotgun. Just, oh wait, I can. It's just an upgrade for super shotguns. I, <laughs> makes every shotgun a super shotgun. Hell yeah. Okay, I'm going to do a much harder mission right here. I didn't check what, what types of guards there are, I usually don't. But here's what the glitcher pod does. Ah oh, shit, the target's escaping. <laughs> no escape. Oh shit. I can't get him. I can't get this guy unless I'm thinking big brain. Big brain that shit, my dude. I sent him out to space where he would slowly suffocate. And then I can just leave. You know, I have to dodge a uh, little pistol Pete over here. Actually, if he knocks me out, he would just throw me outside. Also, there is a fast mode, so you can just, you know, fly around space faster. Ah, shit, he's in a corridor. Thanks for freeing me, my friend. I already assassinated your fucking boss. There is another pod that uh, picks up your corpse <laughs> easier from space. But yeah, uh, when you get shot with regular guns, you don't instantly die. You just start bleeding out. Oh, another... Hell yeah, another puzzle missing quest that would make the personal mission easier. Oh yeah, you also never actually need to uh, land on the enemy ship to win. How does the ship work though? I have to be going ludicrous speed. I did it. Hell yeah. 
Okay, I don't like the foundry brick. It's not as useful as it, it would have been. I guess it has my little entrance point now. Then I just gotta weasel my way in. <laughs> and because I have two teleporters, I can just run in and steal the item. So I believe I already... <laughs> oh wait, do I need to pick up the item? Or does it automatically come? But I know you... I, when I first did Liberate Missions, I thought you had to kill yourself. Every time you, you know, completed them. Because you just pull a 9-11. <laughs> oh wait, I have a better idea. So this is actually uh, what I like to do for certain missions. You can just go inside another ship, hijack it. Is that ship I need to hijack? Is hard. Because every enemy has armor and I can't get through armor. So okay, I can take this ship. And shoot the other ship or ram the other ship with it now. <laughs> what I needed. Let me just get rid of my uh, let people live gun and take my take that quick fire armor piercing bullet gun that will work on these enemies. Oh shit! Okay, shit! I got limited time now. Also, no enemy can get to me. Okay, so that's what I found <laughs> a liberation mission is. So I get that station, <laughs> and I can go into it now. And all stations, like, kind of have a unique look to them. Ah, shit, he pipe wrenched me. <laughs> I need a lot of money. I want a lot of money. I can do my personal mission. And then retire this character because this is a good character. He's he's doing good. He's surviving. He's loving. He's living La Vida Loca. <laughs> ah, shit. I can't kill those guys because I don't have any crass weapons. But I can steal this guy's key, get into the other part of the station, and hopefully survive. And oh no, they have trackers. Trackers are one of the most annoying enemies in this game. I could have waited and you use that on the tracker. So this tracker will kill me if he sees me. Like instant death. I didn't actually plan that, but I'm glad for the situation that happened. Oh yeah, those are crash doors right there. Can I be fast enough though? <laughs> oh, I do have crash weapons. I shite. Oh! The talent killed me. And I'm dead. That's usually how it goes in this game. 